Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a time lapse video using Magic's Movie Edit Pro. Okay, so on my desktop, I've got this folder, and inside this folder, I've got this video tutorial I created about changing the color of a dress using Adobe Photoshop, and I've got a music track. And sometimes when you're on YouTube, you'll see some tutorials or some videos where they've been time lapsed, they've been sped up um, to especially certain parts of a tutorial. Maybe they, they will time lapse it and make it very very fast. Uh, when there's a lot of repetition in the content for example so let's show you how to do this using Magic's Movie Edit Pro so I've got the software loaded up here I'm just going to drag and drop the video onto the timeline and this video actually has audio with it but I'm going to mute it for now because I just want to have some music in the background and right now if I click play let's say for example here you can see the mass moving you can see the total duration is 12 seconds uh, 12, 12 minutes and 27 seconds right so we want to make this much much faster there's a few different ways to do this i'll show you two different ways um let's first of all click on this video clip and we can go into the effects section here and then go to speed speed now we might want to make it twice as fast three times or four times as fast you can actually override this as well i'll show you this in a moment so there's two ways to do this we can just drag this handle and we can drag it across and you can see the yellow um, timeline here, the, the video in the timeline is shrinking because the duration has been sped up. We can set all the way up to something like four, and four would four times as fast would equivalent to three minutes now, right? So everything in this video is moving four times as fast as it was before. For example, so if we get to a certain part, you may want to speed up certain elements, like when you're doing, you know, some small detailed work, but there's a lot of repetition, like here where I'm culling around the edges and just tidying up the mask. Um, I could be speaking over this still, but at the same time, speed that particular piece of content up just to make it um, a bit more easier to view, right? So here you can see changing the color of the dress. So there's another way to do this. Let's undo this. Let's just show you the, all of the functions inside here. Uh, let's just actually click OK. We'll delete this video clip because we've changed it. We'll just drag it in again um, as a fresh new clip. And what you can do is uh, you can use this tool here, the time shift tool. So when you hold down the mouse button on here, you've got the stretch tool, right? So we click on this stretch tool, and we can move to the end of the video clip, and this little handle will appear, and you can drag it down as well. So it will only drag to four times the maximum amount. So that if we go to speed here, let's click on the video clip, click on speed, you'll see it's set to a maximum of four. So when you drag this handle, it will default up to four and then stop. But you can actually override that, by clicking inside and typing another number like 8 for example and now it will be only 1 minute and 33 seconds so if I were to click here everything will be moving really really fast right all of the content you may want it to be really fast like that um, it's entirely your choice how you um, you know speed up that particular content so it really depends um, what you're doing I see a lot of Photoshop tutorials where they're just doing some you know creative artwork and everything is quite fast in the video maybe eight times is a bit too much maybe we'll set it to something like four again so it'll be like three minute duration so we've got some audio so why don't we just show you how to add that audio track let's grab this audio and drag it onto the timeline the audio is actually a little bit too short so we could just time shift it just to sit in time with the audio and then we can reduce the volume two ways to do that you can either move into the middle and drag it down like this or you can right click set volume and we set it to minus 12 db so it's a little bit quiet and you can just fade the audio in at the beginning fade it out at the end you could even fade the video in at the beginning as well and fade it out towards the end if you want and normally i'll put like a little intro and an outro at the end just to tidy it all up but we should um see everything in here now we can hear the music playing rather than um listening to me speaking in this video Right, so that's quite a simple um, method of speeding up video content using Magic's Move Edit Pro. And you can, in fact, let's just show you one more thing. Let's just delete this. One last thing. Let's grab that video and drag it back in again. So you're, in some parts of the video, you may want it to be just you speaking, for example. I'm going to mute this for the moment. Let's just mute, mute it. In fact, we'll leave the audio open, right? So what we could do um, is just go to certain parts, like here, for example, and let's say you're doing a lot of repetition. Let's move across a bit more. Let's say around here where I'm tidying up the mask. Around here. Let's say if I click this and cut it, I'll cut this part of the clip. And let's just let's just say this much around here 
is quite a lot of repeti uh, repetition work in here, you know, just fine detailed work. So we can cut it again. Now we've got this middle block and the middle block we can speed up four times and then drag the end to here, right? Then you can just go and cut your own voiceover on this. You can, in theory, right click here and go to uh, audio functions and we can go to uh, video and audio on separate track. So you can split out the video and the audio. So you can click here and do the same video and audio on separate track like this and then you can either delete the audio but what I would tend to do is just the the part where I want to just do my own voiceover I'll just mute this and then drag another audio track underneath for that duration and just leave the audio active on these two right and if I were to click here for example and click play you would hear me speaking And then at this part it will be muted and then I could be doing some voiceover like right now just speaking and explaining what I'm doing to tidy up the layer mask uh, in this particular tutorial and then at the end of this 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 clip right here the audio from the original track will start again okay so that's just a little tip on how to um, time-lapse video content using Magix Move Edit Pro let's minimize this let's close this I hope you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial